Nine-time Grammy nominee Charlie Wilson is an R&B, funk, soul music icon. Charlie and his two brothers shook up the music world in the 70s and 80s as the super popular group, The Gap Band. After a long string of hits, broken relationships, corrupt managers, and serious drug abuse, Charlie lost his career and nearly his life. The fact is, you shouldn't be sitting here. I'm talking to the miracle man. Yes, yeah, yeah, you're right. I should have been dead a long time ago. It really is an amazing story. Going back historically in your own life, what, your daddy was a preacher, mom was a preacher? Well, mom was a state minister of music, you know. And that influence, well, affected your entire life. But when you were a kid, you, you were, well, how old were you when you started singing? About three or four. Oh, you got, waited that long, did you? <laughs> <laughs> waited half my life to sing. <laughs> but your daddy would get up and preach. Oh, yeah. And then he'd turn around and say, OK, son. But I had sang before he preached. Oh, you say okay. Yeah, so it was like the warm-up act. Even even in those early years, there was a a, a desire, an influence to to get into the pop world, R and B world. Yeah, secular world. Yeah. But your mother warned you pretty early on, didn't she? She said you need to stay away from all that blues music. It's like, well, you ain't singing no blues in this house. So we don't Is do that. that. Right? Yeah, she called all uh, secular music blues. You ain't singing no blues in here. With their mom playing the piano, Charlie and his three siblings grew up singing in their dad's church. There was a lot of joy in the Wilson home until his father left for another woman when Charlie was 13. When he left, I was devastated. It was the 3rd of July, 1965. I was, I was upset, man. I was upset. And I was, I was sitting on the porch waiting on him to come back. I thought he was going to come back so we could pop these firecrackers and, and all of that. But uh, well, there was a no-show. Did you carry that through your life? Long time. Even after we got famous and when I seen he got back, came back in my life, I was upset. I didn't say too much to him for a long time. Charlie joined his brother Ronnie's group, The Gap Band, in 1972. Their brother Robert joined them a year later. While the band caught on in their hometown of Tulsa, Oklahoma, big time success wouldn't come until the late 70s when they signed with Mercury Records. Did that help? I mean, did it begin oh, yeah, to that's when all the hits started coming. For Gap Band? Yes. What was the first one? Uh, Shake. Shake your booty. Shake your booty. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> well, we call it shake, but yeah. <laughs> right, but we ain't that, shaking no booty up in here, right? <laughs> but that sold more than 150. Oh, that's that 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 was uh, the number one record. That was the number one. Really? Record. Yeah. Oh, then it was Oops Upside Your Head. Then it was on a bigger roll. Then all of the hits start coming. Then it was Burn Rubber. Then it was uh, uh, Party Train, Yearning, uh, Early in the Morning, Dropped a Bomb. Um, but then the, another bomb was dropped on us because. There was um, no royalties and what? And uh, we didn't. You guys got ripped off by management. It sounded like they really, really did you. I did a sin for sure. We didn't make, didn't make anything, and um, we would threaten you and stuff like that. So it didn't work out for us that way. We was there for like nine albums. Nine albums. Nine albums. And you weren't seeing royalties. We didn't know what that was. After 24 years and little money to show for it, the Wilson brothers took a long hiatus from music. Charlie sank into depression and drug addiction. How far down did this take you? I ended up homeless. Homeless? Yes. As Charlie Wilson, yes. Gab Band, the whole yeah. deal, and you're I, wandering the streets? I was sleeping on the streets. It got really, really bad, Scott. And um, one time, this homeless family let me sleep in there. They had three shopping carts, and they had it wrapped in cellophane. Um, and they had a brick with a piece of carpet on it and a piece of carpet for the bed. So they let me sleep in there Good for a while. Grief. Yeah. Now, in the middle of all this, was there an awareness of God? And did you call on the Lord? Did you think he'd abandon you? What? I knew God was, was with me. I always used to pray. Uh, my prayer was I uh, asked God to not to let the devil kill me out here while I was in the streets before I could get back to do what I really love to do, and that's to sing and to perform for people. I really wanted to stop really, really bad, Scott. I really did want to stop. Charlie tried rehab many times, but always relapsed. His cousin talked him into going once more. This time, he was ready. For just a second, man, I forgot about how good God is and his mercy and his grace. But I just prayed, God, if you be the same God that my father has been preaching to all of these years, can you just get me off of these streets, please? Just help me get off of this. 
I was sick and tired of being sick and tired. With God's strength, Charlie finished the 28-day program. He also received a lot of help from the director of the rehab. She said, I tell you what, we'll look for you a place and uh, went out and got that. But anyway, she took good care of me, man. She took good care of me. And, uh, and later I just asked her to marry me. Charlie and Maheen married in 1995. It was rough at first as Charlie was still recovering, but he hasn't relapsed since. In 1996, the Gap Band regrouped and recorded again. And then Charlie went on to a stunning solo career. When you look back on this, Charlie, I started out saying this, you're a miracle walking. I'm a testament, man. I, I, I got a testimony, because I thought I was going to die out there. I just didn't want to, you know, I didn't want my family finding me under a truck or somewhere, sleeping on and, right. die, and dead, you know. But I said, if you give me one more chance at life and music, I promise you, when every time I get to the stage, I'm going to shout you out, and I'm going to testify, and we're going to have a little church up in there. And do you so do that now? Every single night, I'm on the stage. So if we were to encapsulate this, I am Charlie Wilson. There's a lot here. We've heard it. Who's Charlie Wilson? I am a God-fearing man. Uh, I'm, a, I'm a husband. I'm a father. Um, I love the Lord, like I said, and um, I'm, a, I'm in recovery. God has showered me with his mercy and his grace. Yeah.